The eighth-ranked Lobos haven't lost a game in eight weeks. They can make it 15 straight and 29 overall, a school record 29 wins overall, if they're able to take care of Air Force Thursday. The mood is pure joy as the Lobos board a bus and head for a closed practice. We Lobo. This Lobos team wants to experience what none of the players or Coach Steve Alford has experienced before, a victory in the Mountain West Tournament. The Lobos have been one and done for four straight years. There are teams obviously in the country that are going in with the pressure of trying to win, the pressure of you haven't played well, and we're obviously playing well. We've, uh, we're, we're winners of 14 straight games, so we've got a lot of momentum going in, a lot of confidence coming in. Hopefully that will help us. In past years, the Lobos were playing with hopes of getting into the NCAA tournament with an automatic bid. We working on a dance routine. We gonna, we gonna, me and Jamal got a little something, something for the fans. This time around, they know they're already in the tournament, but they want to win to secure a good seed. Most projections have the Lobos as a three seed in the NCAA tournament. We've set goals after the, um, you know, this uh, past regular season championship, and we want to, you know, we, we as a team, me and Reese, you know, and uh, Darrington try to, you know, set goals to uh, try to win this next uh, championship. And in order to do that, we need to win the, the first game and then, you know, worry about the second game. It's not about, um, you know, who we match up with the most. It's just about whoever we're going to play that, you know, they got to feel our wrath. The Lobos and Air Force are playing at 1 p.m. Thursday, so Jessica's beloved Wyoming Cowboys are eliminated by the Air Force Academy. The Lobo women are playing Utah right now, and the Lobos are leading 12-8. to Remember, Utah has a seven-game win streak against the Lobo women's basketball team. Of course, we'll have a full wrap-up later on. But right now, we go back to Albuquerque, where our Adam Shadoff has a ton of state basketball highlights to pass your way. Adam. A lot of basketball. Thank you very much.